man. I can't believe it, man. I'm doing an interview on my high school coach. Media platform. This is crazy. Uh, Cino Sports Media on Cino TV. I'm here with Coach Jason Wilson, aka Coach Dub to me. Uh, coach, you guys came out. You guys won the eighth um, straight Red V game. You've been here since the start. You were part of the beginning uh, with me and DJ. Can you reflect back? I mean, it's been 10 years. Reflect back on that time then and now. I mean, so much has changed. So much has gone on. But you've been here through the whole thing. Most of the guys on the staff. Um, what's, what's it been like for you to be here through uh, this whole thing? It's been wild, man. Like, when you guys started, when you guys came and, and proposed it, I was, I was all about it, man. I thought it would be great. Uh, and then your guys' first year was so new, I don't think it had like, it didn't have it yet, you yeah. know what I mean? It was big to you guys because you made it, but it wasn't big to everybody else. Yeah. And then gradually it started to build, uh, and every year it got better and better, and then Valley's bringing their band, and we got our band, and the kids are all in here going crazy, and it's been really good, man. Uh, Valley's been down a little bit, but every year, they show up and play because it's the Red V game. It's a rivalry. So, with it, what what is the difficult part about winning every year? I know in the locker room you said to the seniors, raise your hand, and they were like, it's not me, you know, it's not me and my group that lost. But what's, you know, what are the highs and lows from the coaching standpoint that you deal with, you know, with this game in particular? That's the same as any, anything else, man, is complacency. You know what I'm saying? You don't want kids to be complacent with you and take things for granted. Uh, because it is a rivalry game. We could be good, and they could be not very good, or vice versa, and because it's this game, it'll be a good game. So you gotta get them to lock in uh, at practice, uh, and then focus during the day, and, and be ready to go. So you just gotta beat that complacency. You, you, and you heard it in there, the seniors, they don't want to be the group to let it go for the run that we've been having. So you guys, um, we were messaging earlier, you know, you, you're trying to figure out your team, you're two games in. Uh, what are some of your expectations for your team, and what are what do you guys think you guys can accomplish long term this season? Uh, well, last year we were 10 and 16. Uh, we lost nine games by five or less. Uh, so, and we were super young. We had five sophomores and a freshman. They got a lot of time, uh, and all of those guys are back. So, what we're hoping is that we can win those games that we lost that were close. That we learned from that experience. Our conference is tough, it's always tough. We know there's good teams, but these guys show up to play, so what we're hoping is to, to battle and be in every game and give ourselves a chance to win, and when we're close, to be on the good side of it instead of the bad side like we were last year. Gotcha. Last question, and this is kind of more outside of the game. Uh, one thing that I did mention in there, and I didn't really think about until I really said it, was I was the first Division One player. Um, you had a long line of Division One players, guys that have played professionally now. Um, how important is that to you as a coach, you know, to look back, I mean, you've been, this is your 11th season, 12th season, and you've coached all these Red B games, you've got to coach a lot of great players, you got a lot of alumni that come, you know, I, I'm interviewing you, I was one of your first players. Um, how is important is to you to see guys that come back and see alumni and see the success from some former Wildcats um, through your program? Because this is something that, like I said, you've been here the whole entire time, you got to see it progressive progress through this whole decade plus. For me, like you talk about the kids that move on and play, to me honestly, it's like just a blessing to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Like all these kids, I don't I don't know that I had as much to do with it as God and their work ethic and all that other stuff that happened, but for me to be able to work with those guys, it's awesome. Uh, and then for them to come back and talk to guys at times, uh, that means something too because it means that it was more than just four years and bouncing out. You know what I mean? Uh, so it, it's been nice to be here for 12 years and build and have start with you and have all the guys, whatever level they've moved on and play. And it, honestly, we had guys here tonight that didn't go on and play to the next level, but they came back and they wanted to be part of it. And, and that's as important as anything. But the guys are coming back and, and supporting me, other coaches, and the guys that are on the floor. Time. Gotcha. Well, you heard it here first. Might not have been the favorite, but I was the first. Let's just say it like that. <laughs> I do love this guy right here. I know it's mutual. Thank you guys for um, you know, tuning into the game. Can I get a shout out to Cino Sports Media? Shout out to Cino Sports Media. Can I get a shout out to Tigo TV? Shout out to Tigo TV. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Coach, I appreciate you, appreciate man. You coming, it's all love, man. man.
appreciate it.